So Nisha, is there a reason you picked this particular article to talk about today? <laughs> Maybe because the picture that's on it is fucking hilarious. <laughs> just that initial just little giggle just says it all. Let's talk about Tom Cruise's ass. Tom Cruise is a man who takes great pride in his appearance and often includes at least one vanity shot of his admittedly impressive physique in each movie that he appears in. Perhaps the weirdest example of this is a single shot in the film Valkyrie, in which you can see Tom Cruise's giant slappable ass. A shot he insists contains absolutely no camera trickery or CGI. We're just going to get straight on to this. Um, whoever edits this video, please just put the picture of Tom Cruise's giant slappable ass behind me. Anisha, if you will, discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Right, so I've I've never seen this film, so okay. when I clicked on this article, like, so I was interested by the title. I was like, "What's this about?" That picture took me by surprise. I was like, "What the fuck? That <laughs> cannot be real." That cannot be real, and we'll get to like the reasons that it supposedly is one hundred percent real. But I think first we have to discuss how this picture came about because, as I mentioned, it is a shot from the film Valkyrie, which was a historical drama film starring Tom Cruise about a real dude and a real plot that happened to try and assassinate Adolf Hitler. Um, and I forget the name of the character that Tom Cruise plays, but presumably will be in a fact bar below me. And the only reason this film is notable is because it's a film about a German plot to kill Hitler in Germany during World War II, starring Tom Cruise, in which Tom Cruise just speaks like Tom Cruise. He doesn't <laughs> even try to uh, like, you know, affect a German accent which is weird in of itself, but there are other actors in the film who are natively German, who speak with German accents. And Nisha, you have not seen this film, correct? Yeah, that's correct. And you're not really familiar with, like, you know, the production behind it or anything like that now? No. Okay, so with that in mind, like, you know, as a, like, an outside observer, knowing that the film is about German people and that some actors affect a German accent, but Tom Cruise doesn't, what do you think the reason is that Tom Cruise doesn't put on a German accent? I'm going to guess it's because he can't do one and he doesn't want to embarrass himself. <laughs> well, that's the rumoured reason why. The stated reason why from the director is that it'd be anachronistic if people spoke with a German accent because that's not realistic. Because if it was true to life, they'd all speak German, which doesn't explain why the German actors speak with a German accent and as do some American actors in the film who can do a German accent. <laughs> And the way I like to describe it is that film is way more interesting if you imagine that Tom Cruise is just a really shit American spy and everyone just feels <laughs> sorry for him. Because <laughs> he doesn't speak with a German fucking accent. And, so, and this film was largely forgotten because it wasn't that great. Right up until um, famed internet scholar I Love Butts 247, I'm not making this up, like, highlighted this single screenshot and posted it on Twitter Positing <laughs> that, for this single shot in Valkyrie, Tom Cruise wore a prosthetic ass. And uh, looking at it, I I'm scared yeah. of that ass. <laughs> that is that not real. It cannot be a real ass. I'm so scared of it. Like It looks like if you put a picture of that ass up in front of Tom Cruise and asked him how many squats that he did, he'd just say yes. Yeah. Like he just did every squat imaginable. It's so ridiculous. It looks About like... About a fucking thousand a day. <laughs> so Michelangelo's David doesn't have an ass that tight and he's made a fucking marble. It looks like a fake ass. I'm just going to put it that way. It's so yeah. ridiculous. And, and, and what I would like for the person who edits this video to do now is find that shot and just slow it right the fuck down and zoom in on the ass. And I would really like in the future for that shot of Valkyrie to become just like a, a cultural touchstone for a generation. Like everyone remembers like how they watch like, you know, Avengers Endgame or like Luke Skywalker being told that Darth Vader's his dad. And I'd like to put them on that pantheon of historic great fictional moments just when you realise Tom Cruise has a giant slap or ass in Valkyrie to be up there. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, look at it. It's like there are characters in video games purposely designed for titillation who don't have asses that fantastic. Like, the character 2B from the game um, Near Automata Swing Smile. Are you familiar with that game, Nisha? No, I'm not sure about that one. Okay, well, there's a character in that game, 2B, one of the characters you play as, who has the most ginormous, bootylicious, Beyonce-esque ass you have ever seen. And I'd say Tom Cruise gives her a run for the money. Like, she's a robot. So she has a, like, a perfect robotically positioned ass and Tom Cruise is competing with it. It's so ridiculous. 
<laughs> it also kind of reminds me, we've seen that film Robots, that uh, animation film. Is that the film with Robin Williams in it? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, I do know that film. Which bit are you on about? Um, I think they go to visit his aunt. I can't remember the, the character exactly, but she's got this massive robot booty, <laughs> like massive. Uh, there's a scene where she turns around and literally knocks them over with her ass. Oh, well, that's... It reminds uh, me of that. <laughs> well, that's a, apparently a really common trend in animated movies. I think it was another tweet, because I love Butts247, the renowned internet scholar. I noticed this first on Twitter, in a tweet that, well, you know, went viral, very understandably. There was another tweet a while back from someone who just put, absolutely nobody, Pixar animators, I'm going to give this mother a dump truck ass. <laughs> just every mum in a Pixar movie just has yeah. this giant fucking booty. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh. oh man, it's like we talked about it before. Um, this was in Zootopia, the character Gazelle, oh. uh, portrayed yeah, by Shakira. one Shakira. Like, when she first saw like the design dockets for Gazelle, went the character's fine, but where's the ass? Increase the size of the ass. I'm not going to play a character who does not have a giant slappable ass. <laughs> and the animators <laughs> toiled day and night to make Gazelle's ass just like ginormous. And little did we know, it was all based on Tom Cruise. In Valkyrie. Yes, that, that was the first image. That is the image that it started is. it all. It's the greatest one. Like, of all the asses that are presumably behind me right now, like, good luck monetizing this one, YouTube. Like, Tom <laughs> Cruise just stands out beyond all of us. It's the king ass. Like, put a crown on it. So, yeah, if this was any other actor, we could take it as like a joke, but because it's Tom Cruise, you can kind of imagine him wanting to wear a fake ass. Because I know he, you can. Yeah. like you said before, he has a thing about wanting to have an impressive appearance and he wants yeah, to always look really good <laughs> he always has the, the the requisite tom cruise shirtless scene in near enough every movie he appears in these days and yeah. the reason for that is because fun fact tom cruise has his own team of writers who he brings on on every project and like signs on to do to like you know rewrite the movie to be more about him and we've discussed before like the mummy for yeah, example the mummy. Was, was originally a film about a mummy until Tom Cruise came on board and makes a film about Tom Cruise. And he had a scene written into that film in which he, a 50-year-old man, is referred to as a young man by Russell Crowe, a guy who's about his age. And when you hear stories like that about Tom Cruise's ego, you can believe that maybe for that one shot he did wear a prosthetic ass. Because <laughs> if there's any other actor, it'd just be like, It'd be something we'd mention in another video, but because it's Tom Cruise, it gets its own video. Because <laughs> I can believe that that man would do that, right? There are stories about, like, oh, yeah, he, um, before his shirtless scenes, he goes into an ice bath off, off screen to tighten his right. skin so his muscles look more pronounced. <laughs> and, like, he'll walk yeah. around with his shirt off on set all day just to show off, like, his physique. And it's like, fair enough, like, he works hard for it, but stories like that, don't really like gel well with giant slappable Tom Cruise hats. <laughs> like you can start to believe maybe it's prosthetic. Yeah. Like, if he's insecure enough to like have a script rewritten to refer to him a fifty old man as young, I can believe he'd also wear a prosthetic ass. And thanks to that tweet going viral, um, a writer and possibly a hero from Screen Rant managed to corner Tom Cruise and ask him about it. So what what happened in this interview with Screen Rant? Well, Tom Cruise was asked if he was aware of that tweet, to which he responded, not really, because Tom Cruise doesn't really use the internet or use social media at all. And they mm. showed him the image, which made him laugh. Um, and after he finished <laughs> laughing, he explained that, no, it's not prosthetics, it's all me. It, it can't be, it's too round. <laughs> it's, too, it's too round. <laughs> it's too round. Nisha, this is a man who climbed <laughs> to the top of Burj Khalifa and then people fly a helicopter next to him to take a photo of him. Like, this is a man who strapped himself to the outside of a moving fucking jet. <laughs> Just had people film that. So this is a man who had himself pulled at Mach 3 towards a car <laughs> as an explosion went off behind him to get the perfect shot for like, a mission impossible. <laughs> this is the same man who once sprinted on a broken ankle to get a good shot. Like, Tom Cruise Just... is fucking insane. Like, he learned to <laughs> cocktail flare with his bad hand. He learned how to fire a gun with his bad hand. Like, he's insane, but at the same time, yeah, that is a very round <laughs> ass. It's so round. I'm going to say, do you think when they were filming this scene, he said to the camera crew, make sure you get a good shot of that ass? I don't know, because like I said, it was, this, it was a 
a throwaway shot in a film no one really gave a shit about, and it was a couple of years after it got released, just one random Twitter user apparently really likes asses, noticed it, and started the rumour that Tom Cruise is like wearing a prosthetic butt in this scene. And <laughs> according to Mr. Cruise, who's like, I'm going to guess he's the authority on his own body, it's not a prosthetic. And also, according to him, not CGI. Oh, and I would point out that like, no one prior to Tom Cruise mentioning it thought it was CGI. But now I'm starting <laughs> now to think do. that there is a secret kind of CGI I'm not aware of that can give people <laughs> giant Tom Cruise asses. And I would sign a petition to have that put into every movie going forward. So thinking about Tom Cruise's giant bubble butt, well, I'm reminded of that scene in Endgame where they have like millions and millions of dollars worth of CGI put in for the sake of a joke about Chris Evans having a really tight butt. Like, where he, he looks at his own self and goes, that is America's ass right there. <laughs> and have you ever seen that edit someone did of Chris Evans when he was in Not Another Teen Movie? And there's a shot in that movie where he goes up and he looks at a photo of himself. And he walks over the hallway and he looks at a photo of himself looking at the previous photo and nods at it. But someone's edited it, so it's a photo of Captain America's ass. <laughs> So Chris Evans is going up and no. looking at a picture oh of his God. own ass. <laughs> and can oh, we now, good. whoever edits this one, put in a picture of Tom Cruise's ass instead? <laughs> instead so it's just Chris, Chris Evans going, that's America's ass, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's no. so fucking ridiculous. If we're talking about Chris Evans and CGI, we can't mm-hmm. not mention the Captain America, the first Avenger, where they oh, yeah. made him look smaller. It's just really awkward. <laughs> Can you imagine if instead of using the CGI and making it skinnier, they use that weird experimental CGI Tom Cruise was alluding to? Just give him a big old booty. That'd be fucking awesome. I want or to see that like, version um, of Captain America. Or if when, uh, when they do the experimenting on him and he comes out still skinny, but with a huge <laughs> butt instead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, I had this. I, I don't want it to come across as bragging, but it's a thing I experienced this exact thing myself a couple of weeks ago, because um, I I won't get into it, but I recorded a video in my flat, because we're we're coming on lockdown, like recording remotely, and for a a, a brief five second shot where I stand up and turn around, and I'm pretty sure that's one of the only shots of me anywhere online where you get to see my legs. And I didn't really (laughs) get into it because I recorded it when I was in my gym clothes, but I got about five to 10 people screenshot me at that exact moment and send me a picture of my own ass saying, Carl, what's the deal with this? Why do you have such a toned ass? It's like, I do squats every day. Because I did an experiment. And you might remember this, Nisha, where I went around all my female friends and asked them, when a guy walks past, what do you notice first? And almost every single girl I asked are the same thing. And that is a guy's ass or his triceps, which I took to mean that girls are just as bad as men. (laughs) <laughs> and that is, you look at the things that you can see when the other person's not looking at you. Because men always say, I like a girl's ass. It's like, yeah, she can look at that when she walks past you. So yeah. when I got that piece of information, I did, did start doing a hundred squats a day. <laughs> and I am glad that <laughs> people immediately noticed it and called it out. <laughs> people, I remember I was like logged into Twitter the next day and I had like three <laughs> private messages that were just that screenshot zoomed in on my own ass going, Carl, what's this? Oh, God, how does that make you feel being sent, sent pictures of your own ass? I'll be honest. It must be weird. It, it was weird, but a bit flattering because <laughs> I've been in lockdown for like three weeks at that point and not been able to go to the gym. It's like, at least, at least I'm maintaining. Now, I'm just imagining like taking a screenshot of your bum and putting it on that picture and kind um, in not another team movie and oh, Chris Evans is nodding that. at you. <laughs> at you, you do that? For my own ego, please. I've not been able to go to the gym. For a month and a half. So I think I really need that right now. I think I need Captain America looking at me. That's America's ass cow. So thank you, Captain America. <laughs> I'll do the squats for you. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, that was great. That, there's just a brief <laughs> moment in that video where I stand up and it's like, everyone's like, Carl, what, what's with the giant ass? Like, stop it. <laughs> 